everyone Ray Landis here and tonight I would like to talk with you about this build that I put together with some various Squire and Fender parts this is one sweet instrument and one thing that I want to mention in the very beginning is that this is a hardtail Stratocaster and this is a much sought-after instrument that is really kind of kind of hard to find so if you decide that you want one of these you're gonna have to either take what you can find or you're gonna have to build one on your own and that's what I did I decided to just go ahead and, and search out the parts uh, and build one myself I'm wearing my NASA hat tonight because uh, yesterday here in St. Albans, Vermont, we were right smack in the middle path of a total solar eclipse. It was the most exciting thing that uh, of its kind that I've experienced. And it's you can probably look in the news to find out more about it, but it's just to be part of that and to be right in the middle of that is just so uh, exciting. So I've got my my Space Force pin, I've got my Kennedy Space Center pin, and my NASA hat, and uh, the eagle has landed. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this guitar, uh, mentioning eagle, I've, I've named this one the, um, the White Hawk, the White Hawk, and um, just because I like to name all the guitars after birds if I can. Uh, this particular one is a really sweet instrument and uh, it's it's better I think than a Squire Classic Vibe 50 Strat because of some things that I've been able to incorporate in this and it's just a beautiful instrument for one I don't know if you can tell the body is really nice let me see if I can get it kind of shines off the light and it's got a really nice finish and I used because of the contrast I wanted to get I used black string ferrules to just add that little contrast in the back but this so the hardtail Stratocaster is one again that's like very elusive it's hard to find a lot of people would like to have one because you don't have to mess with a tremolo system if you don't like them I do like a tremolo. Uh, I do like to have that available, but I also like the idea of the hardtail strat uh, because you don't have to really be concerned about it, and it ends up being a lot like a telly. It's it's no nonsense. It's easy to easy to intonate. Uh, you don't have to be concerned about it going out of tune as much. And I'm going to just give you a rundown of the parts that I've used on this one. For one. I ordered from Stratosphere a Squire Classic Vibe 50s Stratocaster neck. These are some of the nicest necks that you can get and for a reasonable price. They, with uh, shipping and everything, they run about $180. And it's, I think, well worth it to, to spend that. Uh, you can, if you want, just go ahead and buy a classic Vibe 50s uh, Stratocaster from Squire and take it apart. 
but the the people over there at Stratosphere they do it they do it anyway. At first, I didn't think that they took the parts from a, an instrument, but I found out later. Uh, one of the people who commented on my site, uh, on my channel, they told me that that's what they do. And I did a little research, and that's true. That's exactly what they do. So these guys offer parts, and you don't have to take the parts you don't want. Just get, the, you know, they even offer these without the tuners. So if you want to get one without the tuners, you can. But I, I bought this one, uh, I bought it with. The tuners it had the string tree the special round string tree and uh, this one did not need any fret work whatsoever the frets were smooth uh, they did not buzz they didn't have any fret sprout uh, they were all level and, and this particular one didn't really need anything except for I don't know if you can see I did put a small shim on this one on the front side of the neck and many times you'll you'll even on expensive guitars you'll need a shim just to give you the right neck angle so that you can get the string height and not have everything extremely off to one side or the other uh, this one also was not very difficult to intonate but you can see that the high um, the high E string is is perfect, but if you look at the low E string, uh, it's it's back quite a bit. There's still a little bit of room. It could go back a little bit farther, but to take it back farther, you would have to shorten the screw. Uh, but it turned out that it was perfect right there, and there's still room to put the string through, and uh, everything intonated on this one really nice. So the neck was from a Squire Classic Vibe. 50s Stratocaster. It's got a gloss finish on the front and the back. It's got the skunk stripe. It's a really super nice neck. And uh, these necks are very versatile. Um, I've taken these necks and I've um, taken steel wool and removed the gloss from the fretboard and it turns into a beautiful satin finish. Uh, you use like a triple aught um, uh, steel wool. People, some people don't like to use steel wool, but it it works for me. But when you do it, it's best I think to take the neck off because the steel wool particles will get onto your 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 pickups. Um, but if you take the neck off and you just very carefully use that triple aught uh, steel wool, I think it's triple aught. Let me see. No, it's quadruple odd steel wool. And you use that, it's quadruple. So it's four odd steel wool. And that will make the neck really nice as far as having a, a, a satin finish. So these necks can easily, if need be, be refretted. I've refretted these before. Some people say you have a maple neck, don't ever try to refret it. Um, I've refretted these and it, my refret job turned out beautiful. And you can just order standard fender frets and if you have any know-how and some tools, you can refret these and, and the one fret job I did uh, with one of these types of necks worked out really, really well. So the body, the body on this guitar came from GFS guitar fetish and it's a, a duplicate of a 19 early 1960s uh, hardtail Stratocaster and uh, it's just really a nice these these bodies are really nice they're, they're made by Lido L-I-D-O and they're also sold by guitar fetish um, I bought the pickups from guitar fetish these are these are vintage voiced ceramic pickups and some people don't like ceramic pickups but these particular ones I think are really nice and then as far as wiring is sold by a company called Tone Shaper and what this Tone Shaper wiring does 
it gives you a master volume and a master tone and then this tone becomes a blender so if you're in the neck position you can blend in some of the the bridge pickup if you're in the second position or some people call that the the fourth position but if you're if you're using these two pickups you can blend in the third pickup and it works the same way down here so if you're in with this I guess they guess they call this position one if you're using the bridge pickup you can blend in the neck pickup or if you're using these two you can blend in this one and it works a little different each way but be it to be able to do that <clears throat> gives you a lot of nice sound variations and some tone tone variations that are really nice I think I got the uh, the football jack from uh, guitar fetish as well so the body the jack and the three pickups came from gfsguitarfetish.com the um, the wiring is full-size pots there it's a really good tone shaper uh, kit that came and I, I wired it and it's got the good spring-loaded switch this is a fender came from a uh, a genuine authorized fender dealer uh, off of eBay and this is a fender bridge hardtail bridge and then on the back you can see I've got the fender that's a I came from a genuine fender dealer and that is uh, the F neck plate these uh, ferrules I think came from Amazon and I put the whole thing together with a pick guard I think that came from I think I got that on eBay um, that is an 11 hole Stratocaster pick guard probably spent full price for that maybe 10 15 dollars or whatever but this thing went together really really nice and if you look at it it's it's really just a sweet instrument and this thing plays like a dream it's smooth as butter and I'm gonna give this guitar to one of my good friends uh, down in Florida I'm gonna ship it down to him um, I just feel led of God to do that so I'm gonna send this off to him and uh, when I talked to him on the phone earlier he told me he said I've always wanted a Stratocaster so here it is I'm gonna send it to him and uh, I think that'll make room for another new one here uh, at the house so I hope you enjoyed uh, the rundown of this guitar and also if you decide that you want to have a hardtail Stratocaster uh, the place I recommend getting the body from is uh, gfsguitarfetish.com uh, because their stuff is really nice. It's a Lido body and uh, it's it's really a good quality uh, body material. I, I think it's I think it's alder, but I can't remember for sure. Uh, but the, the body material is all preference. Um, if you if you find something that that you like, <clears throat> uh, especially if you want to get a hard tail, these are hard to find other places uh, and this I know is a quality instrument now because all of these parts went together perfectly I didn't have the holes were all pre-drilled the only holes I had to drill were for the strap buttons and again you can this is very versatile if you want to swap out the pickups if you wanted to have a, a satin neck uh, with a little bit of know-how you can really dial this in I think this is dialed in the way I like it, but if you wanted to get something like this and dial it in just a little bit more, uh, this is a good foundation uh, to get the exact instrument uh, that you want. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, God bless you, and I hope that you have the courage to reach out and, and try some of these, these things that uh, you've always wanted to try. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time.